We have feelers from uh, our correspondent in a number of states. We did hear that a, a particular candidate, presidential candidate, is headed to his polling units to, to cast his vote. Uh, uh, Tochuku, if you're there. Oh, fantastic. So good to have you. Good morning. Good, good morning. morning. good morning. It's good to have you too. Yeah, good morning. Tell us what's happening right now. Where exactly are you and what's happening where you are? Okay, but behind me is just a polling center where Mr. Peter B will be voting uh, here in Amatoto village in Agoro, under the Ocha local government area of Anambra State. Uh, the voting materials arrive quite on time, coming from the local government who are there, and we read the, the, the INEC officials just at the right time, as early as 6, 637, materials were moving to different locations, despite the the original speculation of fear of maybe attack from the some non-state actors but the people you can see around you can see that people are already turning out i'm just trying to move the camera so you can see that people are coming out to vote and nobody appears to be scared in all the places i've been to since yesterday different all the senatorial uh, uh, um, uh, zones in the state about the three of them we went around yesterday and people are people that i mean we can't we can't run away from our place we can't run away from our country and uh, but so far here in amato village mr p2b had already come out he had come out greeted people and he's just walking around the units walking around to, to see that every other polling center people are just in their in uh, 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 the INEC is already doing his their job and he has assured us that he's coming back he, he, we're all waiting for him here for him to cast his vote so oh. that, that's the much we have been able to gather since yes in Anambra, but the striking note is that I am surprised. I was thinking that people would really be afraid. Yeah. Compare, I mean, judging by the fact that there were a lot of, um, you know, all this uh, uh, attack on police stations, attack on on uh, INEC offices, I'm one sure. would Sorry. ordinarily assume that there'll be there'll be fear. All right. Uh, you mentioned that where you are at the moment, the uh, INEC ad hoc staff are there. Is it the same yes. for other uh, police units close by? Yeah, yeah, it's the same. It's the same. I have gone through, I came from Oka, so I've gone through Oka, different areas. I, 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 I basically, I've shuttled between um, Oka South and, and the Ocha local government this morning. And you could see that people are, are coming out. I mean, the INEC ad hoc staff are in position, with the exception of few places that I've noticed that have, they are not already huh? seated. Oh, yeah, yeah. Some places so called, they are called seated. Police. No, police was in the middle. Tell us, what exactly is the mood like where you are? What's, what's the mood like exactly? The mood is quite quite positive. The energy, the vibe. I, I have spoken to a couple of people. I've, I've, I've recorded them. And the, the anticipation is like, I mean, they, they don't think they are saying any other. The hope is quite large, if, if I use that word. I mean, I spoke to one elderly man who is from the same clan with Mr. Peter B. And he's quite optimistic. He's saying, I mean, that we've seen the energy everywhere, that we are, we are just quite hopeful that this is going to happen. I can't imagine what will happen in this town if eventually Mr. B emerges the winner of the 2023 presidential election. Thank you so much, Ochukui Lodigwe, our correspondents right there in Anambra State covering issues and things for us. We'll be back with you in just a moment. Please keep us posted as things unfold. Thank you so much.